It has been countless years since the world saw a newborn dragon. The glories of the winged age have long since passed. Without the protection of the dragon's flame, frost has crept across the earth. Out of it came the unmelted. Wherever they go, desolation follows. Frozen ones, the long winter is here. Nora, alert everyone. Sir Knight. Just call me Orlando. After all, we'll have to fight off their melted together. Orlando then. Thank you for coming to tell me the prophecy of the Dragon Rider and for joining our fight. But this prophecy of yours sounds so distant to me. The prophecy is already at hand. The Unmelted are coming for you. And the Dragon Egg. Those who cannot fight, get on the boat and seek shelter in the city of Dragon's home. Blacksmith, you need to command anyone who can bear weapons to hold off the frozen ones and protect the Dragon Egg. the opening on the right. Yes, I'm here. Yes. Take flight. Run to the dragon's home to hatch our dragon and rekindle hope. To dragon's home! To, to hatch, hatch our dragon!
Dragon's home city? Why does it seem like it's been abandoned for so long? I heard that after word of incoming frozen one spread, the city's lord ran away with all his men and belongings. I don't know who that cowardly lord was, but at least we can find shelter here in his absence. Come, let's clear this debris and go in. Leave it to me. Done. Leave it to me. Done. shoot the frozen ones from afar. Be sure to help me keep them back. I'm listening. Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. I'm listening. Yes, I'm here. This spot's good. I can shoot from the eye ground. frozen bastards first before... Oh, no! What is that thing? everything is settled. But before that, we have to restore the city and hatch our dragon. Wait, I thought you were kidding. You're really trying to become lord of this place? Although, you do resemble that old statue of a lord over there. More than the city's last lord, anyway. What an ugly tub of lard he was. I'll try not to gain too much weight. Me to hand you this note. No, 
no need to thank me now. I've already taken what I deserve from your city, Lord Blacksmith. Three holy fires on the map, all pointing toward a dragon egg. We have to kindle three beacons of rebirth before hatching the egg. Hmm. I think I've heard about that. Uh, beacons of rebirth where you can kindle holy fire and summon the dragon spirit, right? You can find them buried under the rubble over there. They're all long ruined, though. Not that it matters if they're old or not. The holy fire hasn't been kindled for hundreds of years. It's said that she's a spirit of ancient dragon kind, forever lighting a path forward for worthy lords. Hmm, so this blacksmith is not just a lord, but a dragon rider too. My lord, you finally returned. You didn't abandon us. Sir, I think you're mistaken. I only just arrived here. The old man must think you're the source of that statue in the Grey Hall. The Lord and Dragon Rider who oversaw Dragon Arms A Day. Although that will make you hundreds of years old. I've just lived a normal life in Dragon Shield Town up until now. I'm not that renowned or old. Still, I'll try to bring glory back to this city. shows that the next war is around the Hero Council to the south. Send a raven for me. Never saw a lord like you before. You look a blacksmith. I know. But no matter my origins, I hope you can lend me your strength to protect this city. A blacksmith? That's just fine. As long as there's some wine here for me, it makes no difference if I fight for a lord or a farmer. Are you all right? 
looks like he's had too much to drink. Lord Blacksmith, we'll have to wait for him to revive before we can tell if he's of any use. They look ragged, but I can sense there's something extraordinary about you. I'll see what I can do to help him recover. Dragon will choose the soul it deems worthy. May the dragon's flame be your sword pointing towards justice. Dragon's flame. Dragon's spirit. Arthur. What has become of you? What's that? Arthur? King Arthur? Uh, sorry, Lord Blacksmith. I was saying that something happened to the dragon of Camelot, and the king is missing. Dragons may be the bane of the unmelted, but if you hatch one without Camelot's protection, you're doomed to fail. If you wish to flee, I'm sure you can safely reach the south. No, the unmelted are coming, and someone must stand against them. If I can hatch a dragon, then it's my duty to stop the unmelted. You resemble him so much. A friend of mine, that is. I'll do all I can to help you, but I won't lie. I've let many people down before. Don't expect too much of me. It's getting dark. We can all rest around the beacon. I'll keep watch. I'll take care of it. All done. those frozen one's shields! Lord Blacksmith, my soldier's spears can handle the enemy's shields. Yes, my lord. Not so fast. Brilliant! That's the skill of a true knight. Lord Blacksmith, my soldier's spears can handle the enemy's shields. Yes! I'm here! Yes, 
Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Leave it to me. 
isn't good. The frozen ones have arch. My shield can block the arrows. Yes, I hear. I'm listening. Yes, my lord. Three beacons of rebirth have been rekindled. I look forward to seeing a dragon tomorrow. Were you... were you there when King Arthur's Scarlet Drake was born? I guess so. And you know Merlin. You really are from Camelot. Is the lady guarding the scabbard from Camelot too? I guess so too. You really know her. So why does she have King Arthur's scabbard? Who is she? It doesn't matter. And who are you? That matters even less. All the beacons have been lit, but why are there defenses on the road to the dragon lair? Perhaps something dangerous is hiding within. Come, let's move them aside, but stay alert. of it. 
Leave it to me. Done. 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 Leave it to me.
secure the dragon egg. Stand firm. Spears towards yes, the enemy. Yes! I'm here! I'm listening. Yes, my lord. Yes! I'm here! Yes, my lord. More sacred light from Excalibur. We should make use of it. I'm listening. Congratulate you on becoming the first dragon rider since King Arthur. But 
but I fear there's no time for celebrations. 